Welcome to our channel where you will learn how to save hours of your time every single week. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to build a maintenance tracker or schedule or log, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so what this will do is it will allow you to track any maintenance that you have previously done and track all your, your say, trucks or machinery uh, or equipment. Uh, so for example, if you're a construction company, you have lots of excavators. Uh, dump trucks, other sorts of trucks, trailers, and so on. You can track all of the relevant information for each truck and then also track each uh, each time you perform some form of maintenance on it. Uh, and also if you're a machine shop or some other shop where you have lots of different machines and equipment that require maintenance on a regular basis, you can set up some form of schedule or tracker for it, it as well. Um, it's really handy because then you can set up notifications and you can go really deep and get really custom for your needs. Uh, but essentially what this is doing is giving you a central location so that you can look up any relevant information to each truck, piece of machinery, um, or equipment, anything like that. And also allows you to track all your maintenance records. So you can look up, uh, previous part numbers and, uh, you know, miles and wh whatever type of work you have previously done on it or you need to track. So this is where this will, or that's where this will come in really handy for you. And it will, should uh, simplify and streamline some of your processes on that end. So let's get into it. Okay. So we need to create two different tables. The first table, we will name this equipment and machinery. And the second table will be the maintenance log. So this table will store each piece of equipment or machinery, and this will store each time that we perform some um, form of maintenance on a piece of machinery. So to start in the equipment and machinery table, we will call the primary field We'll call this item ID or equipment ID or machinery ID, whatever you want. This will be a formula field, but we'll get back to that. We can change this to a single line text. And this can be item name. And this will be an ID. And it will be an auto number so that it creates a unique ID for each record in the table. This one we will call maintenance records and it will be a linked record and it will link to the maintenance log, but we will get to that. I'll leave it as a single line text for now. And we want maintenance frequency and we'll put this in days and make it a number. So what this is, is after or how often you want maintenance to be done on that piece of machinery, truck, tractor, whatever it may be. So we'll leave that as a number field and the next maintenance date. And this will be a formula as well. But for now, we'll leave it as a single line text. Okay, so I will jump back to the first uh, field key here, or field ID here. And we'll change this to a formula. And we'll enter concatenate formula. And we'll bring in the item name. So the item name here, and we'll separate it with a hyphen and bring in the ID. So we'll call this truck excavator and trailer. So it will give a unique ID to each item here. Obviously you can add more information, whatever you want. If there's been numbers, um, art numbers that you know offhand, whatever. You can add more fields here to give more uh, specific information to each um, 
item or each record. Uh, this is just a brief overview of how you could set something up to get your maintenance tracker schedule going. So from here, we will change this one to a linked record and we will link it to the maintenance log. And we can have multiple uh, logs per item. So we will leave that checked to allow linking to multiple records. And we will skip this for now. We will need to create lookup um, fields as well based off of this record, but we will get to that. So uh, if we go across now to maintenance log, we can delete each of these first three fields that we don't need. As you can see here, because I created a linked record in the maintenance records, it created an equipment and machinery linked record automatically in this table. So that is why that is showing there. So now to uh, start building out the maintenance log, to set up this table, we have to add a couple extra fields. So on um, this one, we'll call this our maintenance ID and it will be a formula field, but we'll set it up as a single line text for now. Uh, this is our linked record to the equipment and machinery table. And we want a notes and work completed. And this will be a long text field. We want a date completed. And there's a few different date formats you can pick. If you want, you can also add the time, but I won't worry about that for now. And there's a few options here. Uh, if different users have access to the base, you can add a collaborator. Whoops. Collaborator or user, it's now called. So you can add a user field, but they have to have an account. So uh, quite often what I will do is set up a single select field and call this uh, user or whatever you want to call it. And this will be a single select. And we'll call this Bob, Tom, John. And in this table, we will want to set that up as a formula. And we can bring in a couple of different things. So we will want to bring in the piece of equipment to identify, and we will bring in the date as well, separated by a hyphen again. But the difference this time is to bring in the date. I'll just show you why. If I just bring in the date directly, And I select, say I did some maintenance on this truck on today. It'll put it in a pretty ugly format that's not that legible. So to format the date, what we can do is wrap the date inside of a date time format field so that inside of the brackets we'll call it uh, date time and then bring in the date field and then from there we have to bring in the format that you want to use so if you wanted to go with your year month and day you would type it in like that between quotes and close it off and click save and it will bring in your date that you completed the or you log the maintenance and over here you say Bob completed it and oil change. So that's how you would set up the two tables. The other thing in the equipment and machinery table, you can see here now it's bringing in the truck record, uh, maintenance record or log. So from here, if you click on it, you can see exactly the work that was completed. Otherwise, the other thing we will want to do is click this drop down here. We'll add a look up field and there's a couple things we do want to bring in. So um, we want to bring in the date. Oh, my mistake here. 
it's not a lookup field. We want to so right click, insert, and we want to bring in a last maintenance date, and it will be a roll up. And we want to look at the maintenance record and the equipment and machinery. And we want to go max values. So what this is doing is looking at the most recent date here and bringing it in here. So obviously I set this up incorrectly. Oh, that's why I have to select the date and now it should bring in October 26. So that is the most recent date. So it's bringing in that. So if I go over here, duplicate and say, this was on September 7th. You can see it is still showing October 26 because it's more recent. But then if I change this and go back to August 9th, it will update here showing this as my most recent maintenance date. So for example, if you had a every 30 days or 60 days, whatever it may be, that you wanted that truck to be um, have some sort of inspection or review done on it, you'd enter 60 days here. Set this up as a formula field. And you can look at it as if last maintenance date. If last maintenance date exists, then look at the last maintenance date and look at the maintenance frequency and add them together in days. And it will show you here. that 60 days from September 7th is November 5th. So that is your next maintenance date. And then you can set up an automation that sends you an email when this date hits, letting you know that maintenance needs to be performed or done on this truck again. So that's how you set up the uh, database and the two tables to create a maintenance log or schedule tracker for you. And as I mentioned, we will get into more detail in another video. We'll add a QR code uh, to this so that you can tape it or attach it to your equipment, truck, machinery, whatever, making it easier to scan to bring up these details and records. And I will also show you how to set up an automation so that you will get the email reminders when these maintenance dates hit. So that's it for this first video and stay tuned for a future video.